and welcome to my channel. It is um, Christmas daily, or December daily, I should say. Day three I'm doing. Um, day four is today already, but I just do day three at the end, you know, of, of day three. And then I'll do day four, like, at the end of today. So... Um, actually I should say I did, I'm doing day three at the beginning of day four. So, yeah. So let's put this in. I'm going to take these little tags out because they are, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave them in and I can put this book here. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, we have had some health issues here at our house. Um, not at, not per se at my house. My daughter has her own house, but um, she has been sick. She went to the hospital on Monday, and um, she was just very, very sick. Um, her uh, lung was very full, and she was coughing, and just terrible, terrible headaches. So they did the corona test. Um, they gave her antibiotics and sent her home. But um, yesterday it was just so terrible that um, she went back to the hospital. And um, well, first of all, her, her test came back that she was negative. She did not have coronavirus. And then... Um, yeah, so she went she went back to the hospital and they did more tests. They did x-rays and um, all kinds of stuff. And it turns out um, she has pneumonia. So she is not not feeling good at all. So um, would you please uh, pray for her? She is not feeling well. She is in a lot of pain. She says... Um, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm doing here. She says that, um, like, her back hurts, I guess, like, in between her shoulder blades. And I think that's the, um, you know, that's where the pneumonia is in her lungs. So she's in a lot of pain. So I just ask that you pray for her. Um, she uh, was here all day today. She's just... She's just she wasn't doing very well, and uh, her fever keeps going up. She'll take Tylenol, and, you know, it'll go down for a few hours, and then it's just uh, back again, like, you know, with a vengeance, and she's just having a really hard time. Yesterday, they they um, did um, antibiotic, antibiotics IV and gave her fluids and then they sent her home with a prescription and uh, yeah I'm sure it's going to take a few days to kick in so just keep her in your prayers and uh, lift her up that way so yeah it's kind of you know it's scary anything having anything this you know this uh time of year and this the way this world is turning and um it's just anytime your child is sick doesn't matter if they're a grown-up child it just you know you worry and so that's kind of what I've been struggling with and dealing with so I just thought I would get on here and do a video and just you know think of something else for a little while so I have my number here and I wanted to do something else than uh, you know just the normal what I've been doing here like that so I'm just gonna make a little circle with this and then put some fabric glue on here and I think I need to I have to make a trip to Dollar Tree I have to <laughs> because I'm out of this fabric glue oh boy gotta go so there may be a Dollar Tree haul in the future because you know when you're out of glue you're out of glue you gotta go 
and get yourself some glue. And of course, there's going to be, you know, other things that you must get. So I think that's a cute little embellishment. And there goes my scissor and my creaky chair. And yes, it's just a little disastrous here. So let me get my chair up here. Um, I had nothing really picked out. Oh, I was going to put this stocking on there. Oh, darn. Okay. Next time. So this is kind of a dark page here, but we will figure it out. Um, I have this cute envelope. Look at this, uh, this uh, da -da -da, flap here. Isn't that cute? I love that. So this will be tomorrow. I'm just going to put this on here like this. Now, do I want to glue it or just clip it? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna glue it just a little bit, just so that it stays. There we go. Glue that. Yeah, and it's like my daughter had to go to the hospital by herself. I couldn't go in there with her, and, you know, she's sick as can be, and if she had to stay, like, she had to stay there, I think she was there, oh, I don't know how many hours, she was there a long time, and, um, you know, you can't go in there, and, and she has her phone, so I could, I did call her to see how she was doing and she told me they're doing x-rays they're doing this and that and they gave her uh, some painkillers and and she could sleep there for a while so that was good they took really good care of her and they did uh, the corona test again and this time uh, Monday that last Monday they did it uh, you know with a swab through her nose and now they checked her blood and it still came out negative so yeah so I hope you know they are treating her properly for what she has yeah and uh, Billy was very quiet today um, my son my older son and Billy just went to pick up my husband. My husband drives trucks, so um, we always just bring him to to the truck. So we have a vehicle here at home, or so I have a vehicle here. And so they just went to pick him up. And let me see, what do I want to put in here? I am going to use... Sorry, it's taken me so long. Like I said, I have not figured out what I want to do. Okay, come on. So I have these here. So this is, um, this was an envelope. And let me show you. So I just made the opening bigger. So I have this card to decorate, this one, this one, and then this one says sleigh rides. I don't know if it's the right place for this. I think it should be okay. Mm, it's kind of dark. Let me see what else I have here. make some more ephemera okay you know what I'm going to use this one this is one that can go either this way or this way and I'm going to put it this way I'll put these 
aside for something else. Oh, can you pick them up? Goodness. There we go. Put them there. So these go, there's two, I can do another tuck here, but I think two are fine for what I'm writing. So what I'm going to do is make it so I can have a tuck here. And where did I leave my glue? So just this way. And Thelma Hall, you wanted to know what size my journal is, so I'm going to measure that for you right now and tell you what that is, or what it is. So it is uh, just about nine inches tall, and it is six inches wide and what I do for the inside papers is so this one was just about nine so I do this about um, either I would do it eight I think I did this one nine and a half and then this one I did five and a half so that gives me like a little frame around the edges so this is just about done. Look how beautiful that looks. And you can tuck something under there if you like. Um, I am going to put a little tag in here. Ooh, let's dump everything. That would be funny. Not. So I think I can put this tag in here. Like that. And... This is just, I, I cut a tag to the size I wanted and then cut the edges off, rounded the corners. And yeah, so this is ready to be written on. And then these ones are just little rectangles. This is a square, so I can decorate this side and put them this way, like that. Or just leave them. I almost prefer just leaving them. And I might just put a little red ribbon right here. Like so. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we shall call it done. I say now we shall call it done, but we'll, we'll see. And I think most of you know that um, Tina Kazarian has been sick, so um, pray for her that she gets well, um, has a speedy recovery. Yeah, it was also scary what she went through. So anytime you're sick nowadays it's like you never know what's happening and yeah it is it is just scary that that's that's all i can say it's it is scary my daughter she was fine i think i was more nervous than she was she was like mom calm down but it was the fact, you know, I couldn't go see her and blah, blah, blah. This was a whole scrapbooking page. It had all kinds of animals on it. It had this deer. It had uh, bunnies and all kinds of stuff. So I just cut it into pieces. And I just think this would make a nice piece to go on there so I'm just gonna fussy cut it and I know some people hate fussy cutting but I find that I enjoy it um, I find that it relaxes me and yeah and sometimes I like to leave a border but 
most of the time I don't leave a border when I fussy cut, especially this one is red. I don't, don't really like that. So, and I find it easiest, like instead of moving my, my scissor, I move my paper. As you notice, my scissor kind of stays in one spot. And yes, I push down on my scissor that it cuts, but it's my paper that I move and you can get a better cut that way. You probably all know that, but I figure, you know, I'm doing this and <laughs> oh my goodness, my cord is falling down here. Wants to misbehave again. Okay. Oh, his antlers need to be cut out. Yeah, those are some tedious cutting here. Not even too bad. I have a bit of a sore throat too, but not too bad. I don't have time to be sick. That's the way it is with moms, isn't it? Like everybody else can be sick, but not mommies. They have to keep the show going. So I was feeding her soup and well, not feeding her. She was, but I made her uh, soup and ginger ale and and. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about pneumonia. Um, my mom, my mom did have it all, like a lot. She had, she always had lung problems. Um, but my daughter's so young to have those problems now already. It just, yeah, it's a scary thing. Okay, so I am gonna glue this buck on here and this is not sticking why not because I am just about out of glue that's why and that is why okay now and I'm also out of my glue stick, so that means I have to go to Dollarama, because that's where that glue is from. I really liked that super glue, um, glue stick. You just use a lot of it. I find that, or maybe I'm using it, I'm putting too much on, but I'm the type of person that has to make sure that it's stuck like I glue all my stickers down and see I hate this having so much glue everywhere and I know it does change the color of your paper if you get glue all over so that's kind of cute I might find a word for that and then I have a little guy here a little Bambi I don't know why I always call these Bambi. They always look like a Bambi to me. Oh, I must have started cutting that one. So how is your December going? Leave in the comments how you're doing. I would love to know um, what you're doing in December. Are you guys all done your Christmas shopping? I have... We were... Ben and I were thinking we would just give our kids um, money, but now I've found one thing that was on sale that, yeah, is for one of our kids, and, well, to give one kid a big present, or, yeah, it is a big box, and the other ones, you know, and Billy always loves unwrapping stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a box of Smarties. He he loves to unwrap it. So I try to always wrap lots of stuff for him. 
he's he really loves it and especially now like he's gotten some happy mail from from different subscribers and thank you so much for always thinking of him um when he can open a package oh my goodness he's you know he's you've seen him he's very excited and and uh yeah he loves that and it's so cute i think he's so cute but you know that's me i'm a little biased because yes because he is such a sweetheart and let me see if i can find my stickers i had here the other day and probably can't find them because why would i I need them, then why would I be able to find them? See, I put a whole bunch of stuff in here. This kind of like, oh, here's this card I was looking for. I'm going to put that right up there. I am looking for that pack of stickers, this one. And I just combined them into one package like this so I have these ones on this side and these ones on here so let's see what where do I open this so I have them all in one thing here oh what fun and then how about this one And I take these little thingamajings off. And I'll find one for this little guy. We'll put a happy holidays on him. There we go. You have to excuse my hands. I was stamping some stuff before and I'm getting it on there oh darn okay so there's that one this is still not sticking I wonder if the bottom of the glue is like water or something because I don't know if I ever shake that stuff Warm winter wishes. Doesn't want to stick. Okay. So there is that. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I'll just show you some other things that I'm working on. I have... This is just a really tiny journal that I'm working on. Um, it is, let me just close these because then they won't get closed. This is just a, let me see. It is six inches long by four and a half inches. So it's just a tiny little journal that I'm working on. And I used a lot of, like these are all just kind of different scrap papers like just a lot of scrap papers and then I did a beautiful uh, spine here I love the way this turned out so yeah that's what I'm working on I'm working on some other things but I hear them coming in so I will let you go uh, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow thanks for joining me bye god bless